Thank you. I'm very excited to be here. I'm a little nervous, if I'm honest, and I'm very, very grateful for your teaching, so thank you. I wrote down some questions anticipating that I would be here, so let me just take a breath for a second. I want to understand the importance of clarity on your desires, because what I've been taught and what I teach actually is it's really important to be clear on what it is you want to call into your life. But listening, go ahead. Before you go further, we would like to clarify that just a little bit. <laughs> we want to say it different. It's not so important that you be clear. Clarity is the natural evolution of focus without resistance. Okay. So clarity is just something that you accomplish when you don't have resistance. We would not make clarity a goal. We would let clarity be the emotional response to focus. We would say focus is what matters. Focus is what matters and focus will accomplish the emotion of clarity which is the indication of momentum on a subject with no resistance did you get that sort of okay and you've said that you know when you when you launched the rockets really what we wanted was launched long ago so i guess based on what you're saying now it's more just coming into alignment with what you launched and getting rid of the, the resistance and then the clarity is there while focus matters attention to the way you feel is the fastest way to clarity if you say, I'm going to find clarity, then you get kind of hyper involved where you say, I'm going to think about that. 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 And then you just get frustrated where if you care about the way you feel and you're reaching for the best feeling that you can find, then momentum ensues and then clarity is the result. Okay. So let's call clarity the result of focus even more than the goal. So what we're really talking about is letting your emotions be what you're reaching for. This is true. There is the thought and then there is the emotional response. But when you're really driving hard for the thought in order to accomplish the emotional response, sometimes it gets crossways. And that's what we can feel happening here. That's what's underlying the question that you're offering. Okay. So the guidance is just to focus more on the way I want to feel and the things that feel good and just everything else. Will focus fall into softly. Play on something that's easy to feel good when you focus on it and let law of attraction take that soft easy focus into clarity okay Can you feel the difference mm -hmm. focus softly on something that's easy and the reason it's easy is because there's no resistance okay. and the reason that we say softly is because you're picking a subject that isn't difficult so you're starting out with no resistance any time this is your answer any time you focus on anything and let's make it easy and general and soft and easy. Anytime you focus on anything without resistance, it will gather momentum and it will become clarity. But if you're shooting for clarity, first crack out of the box, you're probably not going to find it. Okay. Because this is new to me. When, and I was listening a few months ago and I'd heard you say, um, you don't need a clarity. You've, you, all your desires have been launched a long time ago. So that was a really aha moment. Well, what happens to a lot of people because they want to set goals. Mm -hmm. So they pick things that they want that they don't have. Not realizing that in picking something that they really, really want, that they really, really don't have, that they're working really, really hard against themselves because they're activating a lot of resistance. So then it takes a really long time and then they get discouraged. Where if you're just focusing upon the things that are easy to focus on and feel good about and you do it consistently so that you're gathering momentum then clarity comes to you okay that's a good conversation thank you something else yes a couple of things <laughs> so I have written a novel that I really want to help serve a lot of people and to crack people open to higher purpose and divine communication in, in a really fun and interesting way and I launched the novel in the fall and I didn't have done my best to just take my hands off the wheel, focus on things that are working and let it go and things are going well. So my question to you is just, and even though you're speaking to me, I know you'll be speaking to everyone in the room too. We're speaking to you. Okay. Just any advice on ways that I can align to serve on a, a bigger, higher level with ease? The same 
creative energy that you tapped into mm -hmm. and you know you know that some of the segments of that book flowed and some of them you struggled hard on okay and the results are very good we're not implying that the struggle didn't eventually turn to greater ease but you know what we're talking about. yes so once you've had that experience of having to come into alignment in order for something good to come you want to apply the same process now to the allowing of it to be received or understood by others so you said something to us that we want to focus on just for a moment about cracking other people open to what what do you want to crack them open to <laughs> to their own truth and to the reality that but you see what we're talking about here is the same thing that we were talking about in your first question okay. cracking open is so much harder than it needs to be okay it's like most things that you crack open never really get put back together quite right right <laughs> <laughs> there's a softer gentler way of going about it but a lot of people think that they just need to be jolted into the awareness that things could be better we would encourage you to understand that there are those who are exactly ready for what you have written okay and just softly ask and trust that law of attraction will match those people up with what you are offering there okay you see what we're getting at yes because in sales and almost everything is to some degree most people approach it from the standpoint that I need to find a very severe need in you which I will fill with this and so you need to be cracked open in order to discover <laughs> the important but most of them once they're cracked open they don't survive okay. <laughs> so would it be beneficial for me just to really see this as bringing fun and ease into people's lives? Precisely. Life with, Precisely. With, with potentially enlightening an aspect of yeah. themselves. Okay. Much better. Okay. Much better. And just that simple shift. And it's interesting because I've just been, I've been trying to figure out the genre because it's, it's a new genre, genre that I created and it just came up with enlightened fiction. Someone helped me to come up with that. And I thought that felt a lot better than what I've been trying to do. It's good. It's enlightened yeah. fiction, meaning sort of like the virtual reality, the drone our friend was talking about earlier. Not taking myself so seriously. Yes. Then, so reading something about someone else that maybe gives me soft, gentle insight into myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Not crack me open. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And it helps me a lot, actually, just even this conversation. And really shift. good. Yeah. Okay, my next question is romance. I know you spent a lot of time on this, so I just have one quick question. I've really been working on um, focusing on the good that's right in front of me and on the men that are in front of me, and I've been attracting attractive, successful, spiritually open-minded men, which is amazing. I don't want to say but, but... <laughs> amazing meaning wonderful, not amazing meaning shocking. Amazing meaning wonderful. Yeah wonderful and easy yeah because I've taken your advice about like let's have fun and, and figure it out and not thinking every single person has to be the one good because I was doing that because that cracks them open <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so because I've learned a lot I've been studying this a lot and the advice that you've given and just having fun and, and noticing the good in the people that are right in front of you. But what's happening for me is that the people that are right in front of me aren't hanging around. Like we don't even get to the fun part really before it's like, okay, that wasn't working out. Does this make sense? So do you think that what you're asking for is a little more focus? I don't know. I guess I need help in figuring out what I'm asking for. Well, we're asking you because it could be this and we're just going to throw some things out for you until your resonance tells you what it is it could be that while there are aspects that are compatible mm -hmm. that there are aspects of this probable relationship that could really satisfy what's in your vortex mm -hmm. that there is more that is not ready in other words do you think you are readier for it than they are yeah probably so look at it from the standpoint of what we've been talking about all day so you've been creating incrementally a vibrational version of this relationship and you have been deliberately focusing so you are really in alignment with that and the universe is 
delivering to you possibilities do you think the relationships that are showing themselves to you this is a really simple question and you're really going to enjoy the way the answer feels as you answer it does it seem to you like these people that are flowing into your experience does it feel like they are still satisfying more of the step one part of the equation are they still helping you to clarify what you want yes well there you go and that's a good thing if you're still in the clarifying process then you don't want something to stick while you're still in the clarifying process because then you'll be stuck with less than what you're really going for okay that does help yeah yeah now let's play it out the other way let's say that you said no it doesn't feel like I'm clarifying it feels like I've got some work in lining up then that would be a different thing that would require more focusing yourself into alignment but it feels to us like you are well focused and in alignment with what you are wanting 75 percent okay and now you're clarifying because you're getting serious about this yeah. you want this to be something that is long-standing and deeply satisfying and so let the relationships come and let them clarify and one of the big clarifications is something that's such a good match that it doesn't want to go someplace else something that's such a good match that it is mutually understood for what it is something that's such a good match that it makes you just savor what it is while you're eager for more to develop between the two of you yes yeah can we do like a little um, rant on that maybe? we just did <laughs> okay yeah really good okay I have one last question yeah. which you may may or may not want to answer we always uh, do okay so but not it, that <laughs> and this is really kind of has to do with the, the second book that I'm writing to softly and magically intrigue people is about our, our physical body shifting into to crystallization and if this is too too much or too out there that's fine but I believe it's happening to me and I believe that as we are uh, enlightening more there are some changes so I'm just curious what you could offer in regards we think to that. that that is terminology that has been translated by someone who's trying to define the difference between being physically focused and vibrationally and energy focused okay your body's are not going to literally crystallize it's wanting to explain the marriage between this physicality that is you and the vibrational fullness that is you okay you're not going to crystallize do you want to define that more specifically to us yes in the awakening and ascension process for me it all happened really really fast and I had physical awakening and ascension process mm -hmm. so awakening meaning tuned in tapped in turned on awakening meaning clarity yes so what do you mean yes and being aware and ascension meaning raising your vibration so awakening and ascension meaning coming into vibrational alignment with the whole of who you are yes and what does that feel like emotionally now it feels great what is the word that describes it high flying good feeling yeah. passionate eager satisfied yeah. yes so now what no I don't remember what I was saying <laughs> well you were talking about in the awakening and ascension process uh, okay as you're as you're really getting into being able to be tuned in tapped in turned on consistently and consistently four. and staying there yeah. are there physical symptoms that that happen or is there yeah. a physical, physical change? symptom is you get everything you want okay that's right okay. that's the physical it, yeah. symptom is that you're tuned in and things unfold and it feels like you've got a concierge in the sky that is working things <laughs> out and, and you feel eager and full of energy and you're full of life and you don't get tired and when you wake up you want to get up and go do something and your body feels delicious to you it's sensual it's good feeling it's flexible your eyes are clearer what you eat tastes better you can hear more clearly you hear things in music and in nature that you've not heard before in other words tuned in tapped in turned on to the wholeness seeing the world through the eyes of source getting to be in this physical body with source energy flowing to you and through you as it always has been but you tuning to the frequency so you get to know what source knows Okay. Yeah, like that. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Really good.